I, I can see why people go with the dynamic. It's just, it's like 2020's trendy PC of the year. <sighs> I know. We interrupt this video to bring you a special message from iFixit. Bring you iFixit by the makers of iFixit. Got a crappy graphics card? That's okay. Fix it with iFixit. iFixit has all the tools you need to make your life better. Got a dirty phone screen? That's okay. You can fix it with iFixit. Thirsty? That's okay. Fix that thirst with iFixit. Mm, refreshing. Use iFixit to fix your computer or even just upgrade it. Oh, iFixit can fix anything, even this and this. Got a problem with your friend? Fix him too with iFixit. They'll appreciate it. Guaranteed. Disclaimer, iFixit does not actually cost bills, fix friends, fix cars, fix tires, or fix things that are not designed to be fixed with iFixit tools. But that's okay, because iFixit's going anyway. To find out more, click the link in the description below. Yeah, iFixit exposure. Yes, I'm aware that I was ranting about the popularity of the Lean Lee Dynamic 011. I didn't know that there was like a bunch of different versions of it. There's a Razer version, there's an ROG version, there's this white one, there's the black one, there's the XL. <sighs> anyway, so this is kind of two birds with one stone video here. One, I'm quick to call myself out when I say, I don't like something. I don't like boats. No, that's not true, I love boats. But this is really me talking to my kids. Don't say you don't like green beans until you've tried them. Now, we all know green beans suck, but you still have to try it, okay? I'm not saying the dynamic sucks. But what I'm saying is that I've yet to build in one. I've seen how pretty they are. I saw them at Computex when they first launched. Their Bower's name is on it, so therefore it's gonna go way faster than any other case. But I can't deny they are really, really pretty. And what you get for the price just seems to be right. And if I'm not mistaken, Steve loves this case because Der Bauer's name's on it. Because we all know how much Steve loves Der Bauer. And so it could be the shittiest case on the planet and he would still love it. But you guys were like, where's your daughter's build gonna be? This is actually a system we're gonna be building today for my daughter. She's seen pictures of this case. She has watched me watch videos. She's watched my like um, critiquing people's builds. And every time Lee and Lee comes on, she's like, ooh, my daughter's 11. So everything you see right here is overkill. I'm a terrible parent. I'm spoiling my child, but I can, so I'm gonna. She loves RGB and she's the perfect demographic for it. She's an 11 year old girl. RGB is perfect, but she's also super into Haikyuu, that, that anime about volleyball. She's actually taking volleyball lessons, which is weird, take volleyball lessons. No, like she's getting private training from a sports coach to prepare for volleyball because she wants to join a volleyball team. So I figured I would surprise her with this build, full rigid water tubed and all that. And then what she's gonna do is she's gonna help me build a computer for someone else shortly on this channel where instead of building something for herself that's awesome, she's gonna build something for someone else that's awesome, just like I'm doing for her. It's nice to be able to do things like that and I want her to experience the doing something for someone else but putting the same passion in it you would do for yourself. Now obviously there's a little bit of business to take care of here because our good friends at Micro Center supplied everything we need to be able to get this system built. The hardware and stuff, we'll talk about that in a sec, but the stuff that was specifically uh, supplied to us by Micro Center in Tustin is our Lian Lee uh, Dynamic 011. They had all of them in stock. The Razer, the XL, the black, the white. Uh, this is a white edition because I think RGB lighting inside of white cases looks great because it re reflects everywhere. It's super bright. But they also helped us out with some water cooling stuff because if you guys aren't aware. The water cooling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you guys aren't aware, Micro Center does carry a huge selection of water cooling stuff. So I have a lot of water cooling things on the shelf already. But believe it or not, with all that there, I still don't always have everything I need. So I went there and got a few things we needed. I was all out of 13 millimeter PETG. We picked up some Primo Chill 13 millimeter tubing there. So thank goodness for that. They had to go and find it. It was like stuck away, but we found it. This is the EK distribution block that has the built-in DDC pump and it mounts to that where that back radiator location goes. I feel like everyone with the Lee, the Lee and Lee Dynamic 011 had this. So I've got a copy into it too. Fans. <laughs> Yes, six white edition light loop Corsair fans because again, this is the white edition case. The white fans look absolutely phenomenal, especially when they're lighting up. I put these same fans in my friend Brian's case, which is a white Corsair case, and they look so good when they're glowing. I picked up six of these to put into the Lee and Lee case there. And then the uh, other things we had picked up while we were there, I needed a Commander Pro to, to command all those lights. So there's gonna be a lot of wiring, but fortunately it'll all be hidden in the back where you can't see it. And then I picked this up. I'm not sure if we're gonna use it, but I picked it up anyway. This is the vertical adapter 
so that we can mount the GPU vertical if we want. The reason why I say I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this is because I didn't realize this mounts to the very bottom of the case. And as such, that would block us from putting any fans on the bottom or a radiator or whatever. We know we're gonna be using a 360 rad up top. I've got my EK Coolstream SC 360 right here. That's gonna go at the top of the case with three of those fans. <clears throat> I had thought about putting three intake fans on the bottom and or another 360 radiator on the bottom for ultimate cooling. Although the parts we're using will be cooled just fine with a single 360. This is about being super cool and overkill and ridiculous. It's Jace two cents freaking daughter. She needs a cool computer and one that looks good too. Then I realized the way that the, the that bracket mounts might stop that plan. So we might go with a normal vertical mount. Let's talk about the components here for a second. This is where you're really gonna get triggered. So be ready. Oh, and then of course, Micro Center did supply us with the 970 EVO Plus. One terabyte NVMe SSD. One terabyte should be plenty. She hasn't played that many games at the same time. She'll have to learn the struggle of managing your storage. They also supplied us with something that's as good as gold. Or oh, in this, it's actually, oh yeah, gold, 80 plus gold. Okay, so it's as good as gold. <laughs> this is the RM850 power supply from Corsair. Again, we got that as well as the um, cable mod. Uh, this is just the 24 pin, eight pin EPS and PCI Express sleeved cables for this power supply because there's such a power supply shortage right now. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you guys are waiting on buying, buying power supplies, you should do it now because I'm getting word, it's only gonna get worse. The world shortage on power supplies is real. Don't wait. Um, but anyway, let's start with the components because this is where you guys are about to get so triggered. Why does an 11 year old girl need these parts? She doesn't and that's why it's awesome. You guys remember that competition I did a few weeks back against Steve where we had to troubleshoot a computer and I decided to actually troubleshoot the computer and he just decided to rebuild it and bypass all the problems. Yeah, I'm not salty. Shut up, you're salty. Linus had sent with that a bunch of spare parts. We've got a brand new ROG Maximus 12 Hero Wi-Fi motherboard, 16 gigabytes of Trident Z RGB RAM, and a retail version, not a Intel Confidential, but a retail 10700K, AKA 9900K. And these were spare parts in case something went legitimately wrong with the build so that we could use these to fix it. And when we were done, they were like, just keep the parts. So baby girl, your parts are brought to you by Linus and his pocketbook. So that's fine. We're gonna be putting those parts in there. This right here is a 2080 Ti with no cooler on it. The reason for that is this is the one that actually came out of the Corsair One build over there. If you guys don't remember, I took this out and put a Titan RTX in there. I had planned to put one of our like EVGA coolers that came off of some of the Founders Edition and or you know reference cards and stick it on here until we realized they never even put the fan connector on the back. They used this generic one right here. So I can't even do that because none of the air-cooled cards you buy actually use this. So I don't know why Corsair did that, but they did. Regardless, I do have the XG7 RGB water block. If you're about to be like, Jay, but that block leaks. We actually did videos about this. We showed how to fix it, how, what it takes to make it leak. And the fact that I'm even putting this in my build or my daughter's build tells me I have full confidence. This is not gonna leak on me, but we will obviously be testing it. And because this also comes with a back plate, it's gonna be perfect for this card because we don't need a fan plug. And it doesn't have a back plate because of the way it was mounted with the AIO cooler inside the Corsair One. She gets a 2080 Ti simply because I had no other way to use it. Nice problem to have, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I think this should be one of those videos, quite honestly, where there's not a lot to talk about. This is straightforward. This isn't a build guide. It's really just a build I'm doing to surprise my daughter. Oh yeah, again, I already said that she's gonna help me water cool and build a computer for someone else we're gonna build a computer for because I want her to experience doing something for someone else. She doesn't know this is coming. I'm surprising her with this because one of the reasons why it's taken so long for me to get to this point to where she's building her, or getting her computer, her desktop. Remember, she's been gaming on a like four-year-old laptop now for the last couple of years, because she thought that'd be super cool. And now she, her friend has a nice desktop that you saw us build on this channel. Now she's like, I need a desktop too. She's just been a real snot lately. Like just, a, just, 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 just. I get it though. It's, it's, times right now are definitely tough on someone her age, she should have been going to middle school and realize, like learning that, that cool feeling of going class to class for the first time and being out of elementary school and now being stuck at home and just vacations were canceled and, and just, it's been a sucky year for everybody. So she's been dealing with that in not a good way. And I told her, I will not build you a desktop or give you a desktop or let you build it or anything until you show me you can be a good person, be a good person to your sister, stop being a little punk, do your chores, stop fighting with us. Don't 
be 16 yet. God, give me the five years I have left before you become that teenage girl. But anyway, she's a good kid. She's definitely turned her attitude around. She's been very helpful around the house, taking help take care of the dogs, helping with her sister and all that. And I feel she deserves this, which is why I'm surprising her with it. So with that said, we're gonna build it right now. I'm gonna let Phil just kind of montage like he normally does. We haven't had a good, just, yeah. Well, it turned out pretty good if I don't say so myself. So I've got it all set up for her. We're gonna be taking it home and surprising her. I, you know what's funny? I did this build in a day. Normally anything that's got rigid tubing bends, and even though these are just basic 90s, I, I still messed up a couple of times in terms of trimming it a little too short so then the 90 was more like a 92 degree. I don't normally finish a build of this caliber in the same day, especially when I start at almost 4 p.m. But I have to admit, Phil and I really hate the fact that we've turned out to love this case. He loves the air more, the O11 dynamic air, because he thinks it looks no, very- I like that case, I love the air. Okay, he I likes this, he this. loves the air because he thinks it looks like a mainframe with the grooves and stuff. He really wants to build something in the air. But what I was getting at, the case is so well thought out. Um, I don't know how much design Der Bauer was uh, input he had, but regardless, the collaboration here worked out really, really well. I was concerned about how close together the great, the slits are on the bottom for these fans to be able to actually pull air through, but they are pulling a decent amount of air. One thing I'm gonna do to change it though, and you'll notice we change a couple things, we'll talk about that in a sec. One thing I'm gonna do here though, is the fans, because they're pulling air from the bottom and the blades are really close to that grating, they do make a bit of a chop sound. And I dealt with that with some other cases where the fans are too close to that, that um, great grill material, whatever it is, whether it be hexagon shaped circles or in this case slits. Um, I'm going to get myself a 360 millimeter clear um, riser, basically that you can use to space a fan out away from a radiator. I'm gonna do it on the bottom here. One, the acrylic will give some nice reflections in there as well of the RGB lighting. And two, it will get the fan blades away from that slit or those slots so that you don't hear the fan blades nearly as much. Plus it will give a bigger volume of air right in front of the blades and give me better static pressure, uh, in this case, negative static pressure to pull the air through and uh, give us better airflow. However, I did some temperature testing on this and heat rises and what do you know, when you help it go up faster and you have exhaust fans, even though there's a radiator right here, it does a fantastic job of keeping things cool. I ran heaven for a bit earlier on this 2080 Ti cooled by the Corsair block, which is not leaking because this is also the one that we did the epoxy um, fix on. If you guys haven't uh, watched that video, you should because we fixed it in a manner that you can't even tell, but it looks great. Um, temperatures hit 43C on the graphics card. That's stock settings, not overclocked or anything. There's no reason to overclock for her. But as you can tell, we changed a couple of things. We did not use the riser card because again, I want these fans in the bottom. I wanted to help the radiator as much as I could by feeding the chassis with air so that this doesn't, these fans don't have to do all the work of pushing through the rad and pulling through all the vents. That's a lot to ask for any fans. 
Um, we also changed out the radiator. I started at the beginning saying I was gonna put the EK360 rad in there, but I figured when I started to mount the 360 rad, which is a 30 mil, and this is a 45 mil, actually I think this is a 60 mil, now that I think about it, this is a 60 millimeter radiator. It looked kind of ridiculous because everything was so far up, there was too much of a gap on top of the, of the um, motherboard. So I decided to put in the Corsair radiator, which is a 60 mil thick, and it gives us obviously plenty of cooling. It takes a little longer to get the air out. But yeah, so we changed the rad. We didn't go with the vertical mount. And then we changed the memory, mostly because we're using IQ to control the fan lighting. And as you can see, I set it up. I don't know how well the camera picks it up. These are orange and blue um, based on the colors of HiQ, which the monitor turned off, but whatever. My, that's my daughter's favorite uh, anime. I already said that at the beginning of this video. So I figured why not make it HiQ themed. And then I got some other like rainbow puke RGB settings and stuff in there she can switch to if she wants. Everything turned out really, really good. But we, we went to the Corsair Dominator Platinum uh, with the Compelix LEDs. One, they're brighter and two, they could be controlled by IQ. The G-Skill memory and Aura's just lack of nice presets. And I don't wanna have to go in and do Aura Creator for everything, which is not terrible, but man. The case is so well thought out, especially with that distribution uh, block. I was able to get it done in a single evening because the guy who's notorious at taking a year to do a basic build, uh, because of the simple fact that the case does like all the work for you. In fact, I'm gonna show you the back because Corsair's IQ software is very powerful. It, a lot of people either love it or hate it. You can get these really nice effects like you just saw, but they're wiring for the love of God. Corsair, simplify that crap somehow, please. Because what we did is we stuck the IQ to this and I think I should show you, I think you deserve to see how well this case hid this nastiness known as Corsair's RGB wiring solution. Look at this. So you got all the wires and the fans and the hub and thing and, blah and uh, all these wires are so unnecessary, but we just ended up sticking it to the back of this little um, deal that you would normally attach like hard drives and stuff to. And since we don't have any hard drives in there, yeah, she did a pretty good job of hiding it. In fact, that was Phil's idea. And this was the equivalent of having a bunch of developers work on different parts of a piece of software and then trying to get them all to talk was hard and then when it didn't work, it was just blaming someone else's code. Yeah, how many developers out there know exactly what I'm talking about right now? That's what the RGB solution is for Corsair. And I'm not gonna change my mind on that. That's never gonna change. As long as this is their solution, I will complain about it. Another thing that I really like too is that the only screws you need to take this case apart are the two thumb screws on the top. Once the top piece comes off, all the other panels slide up. The glass panels, the rear panel and all that. So I think it's, whoa, I think it's very well thought out. But there you go, I think it turned out F fantastic, I, I, I like the case, I really do. I could even use an XL for myself and be happy with it. Um, and I would have loved for my daughter to be a part of building this for herself, but I think, like I said earlier, it's important for her to be a part of doing something for someone else where you spend hours and hours and, and f frustration and anger and all that towards getting something right for someone else that you don't even get to keep. That's quite a good, that's quite a humbling experience when you spend a lot of time on something that's not for you. And I want her to experience that for someone else, which we are going to do. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this build. Again, this was just a, a video about seeing a beautiful PC come together with Phil's beautiful editing abilities, which I haven't even seen yet because we haven't even gotten there yet, but I know it's gonna be great because that's why we have Phil. Get your very own Phil by checking the description and you'll find a link down there at Micro Center where you guys can get all the parts and your very own fill. Hey, I didn't do anything. You go in there and explain what you see in that room. I didn't do anything. I swear. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Go look at it. You've been bugging me for a desktop forever. It's Kageyama and Hinata. Yay, thank you. Am I ever going to see you again, or are you going to forever be sitting in here on your computer? <laughs> You'll see me again. I'm going downstairs and getting Sprite. <laughs>